uh, welcome back everybody, Sign here, and uh, I can't remember exactly how much of this I've shown off so far in a video, but uh, this is my wonderful underground area now that I've been working on. It's, I think, 150 by like 200 or something like that. Let's see. Yeah. No, it's actually pretty close to being a square. But, um... Dug this all out by hand, no TNT, no build craft, so no fillers, or quarries, or anything like that. Uh, these are all slabs and glowstone glass slabs uh, using micro blocks. But they actually throw off quite a bit of light, which is rather handy. Uh, it's my first mine factory thing <laughs> auto jukebox, which I've got Ward in there right now. Oh. Let's see. And this is the next floor up. I'm going to turn this actually into a mob spawner. Let's see. Part of the stronghold. Stronghold. This was my old storage area. I went ahead and cleaned it all out. And there you go. Surface. I've still got those up there. Don't know if I'm ever going to bother using them for anything. A uh, little tree farm I've got going. And it always gives me a lag spike whenever I go through that first elevator. But, uh, come my little dinky storage area here. Smooth stone, cobble, gravel, ice, uh, glass, sand, pulverized obsidian, pulverized coal, oak wood, drunk wood planks, because I get, uh, when I run rubber, rubber wood through a sawmill, I get those, I end up quite a bit. And then I've got 21 stacks of drunk wood itself and 18 stacks of cherry wood. And I've uh, been using strong boxes because, well, I don't have iron chests installed. But, like, different logs I got here. It's, it's kind of handy. Only one block in size, double chest. So, uh, dead wood. Pretty much only use that for, uh, like, charcoal, actually. There we go. And a little bit of rubber wood to take care of still. Uh, the different planks that I don't have room for in my barrels. Uh, different plants, whatnot. Go ahead and organize that. Um, yeah, look, berries, river cane, which I need to figure out how to grow that. Uh, let's see, kind of organize this a little bit more. Uh, saplings, block drops, you have a bunch of cobwebs now. Some snowballs, bricks, a bunch of clay, gravel, or a uh, flint, nether quartz, and miscellaneous things from Biomes of Plenty. Uh, just regular miscellaneous blocks, which I can throw my nether bricks back into here now. These have something special to do with mob spawning, I believe it is. I'm not sure what it is, though. But they're relatively rare, and they look just like nether brick, so... Oh yeah, still have that hardened ice. Um, kind of an overflow for my blocks, bone segments and whatnot. Uh, mob drops, which I've actually started collecting trophies now. So, he's got, I think, like, a 0.1% chance to drop or something like that. So, and this one guy actually was just by accident. He was trying to kill a zombie, and he got in the way, and lo and behold, dropped his trophy. I've got four total wither skeleton skulls, so I can go after a wither anytime I want to. But, like, uh, this is kind of cool, like, the creeper trophy. You just put it down. Oh, no. Yeah, well, it's floating because it's on a slab. But you just right click on it, and it's a non damaging explosion. Which, if you're doing uh, like a multiplayer, you could actually use that as like a signal or something. Uh, snowman does uh, like snow around it, silverfish makes a noise with the blaze and the villager. And I actually found a spawn squid egg in one of the chests in that uh, catacomb area. Whole bunch of bones. And let's see, different saplings and whatnot, just my overflow in general, because there's my different unique ones, but um, equipment, bone meal, um, kind of miscellaneous stuff, enchanted books, chests, regular books, hoppers, there's my enchantment table, my luggage, golden lassos, which are how I got those. Can't really see. Oh, yeah, you can. Some cows over there. 
um, things from the open blocks mod, elevators, sprinkler. Uh, the honey in this tank is from Biomes of Plenty, though. But the tank's open blocks. Just where those go. Um, extra utilities. I haven't actually done anything yet, but just in case. Mine factory reloaded. I got a bunch of plastic and rubber bars and safari nets now. Thermal expansion, which I'll go ahead and do that now. I uh, like my workbench, Cinnabar, which is actually kind of comes in handy. Uh, you get that whenever you pulverize redstone ore. And let's see, uses for Cinnabar. Like, you go induction smelt it. With an ore, you get three of the ore, plus 100% chance of your, uh, your bonus there. Iron gives you ferrous ingot. Ferrous gives you a shiny ingot 100% of the time. And that's about it. Oh, and you can use it on gold to get rich slag, which is the main reason I have it, I think. And let's see what else. And pulverize for 2 and 10. Yep, ferrous ore and sand is rich slag. So, and actually, I've got a lot of ferrous ore. And I've got some smelters already set up, so I'm just going to bring those with. And don't need to have the fluid ducts or energy conduits on me right now. Go ahead and plunk that there. And we got miscellaneous different things. We got well, let's grab some of that melted up. But uh glowstone dust, redstone, lapis, coal, eight stacks of diamonds, twenty eight emeralds, ferrous ingots, which I need to run through an induction smelter with iron to get more invar. Uh copper, silver, lead, tin, gold, electrum. I only have one electrum bar in there, I've used the rest of them up. Forty four shinies, which for the most part is gonna be decorative blocks. So and then Filing cabinets. They store different items with the same item ID number, like all these little statues and stuff. If you look here, they're all 1551. But they have different uh, NBT data attached to them, so they look different, so on and so forth. Well, they don't really stack all that well, except for in rare cases. Like, what was it? Here we go. Yeah, three regular gravestones, that's it. So. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> that I pulled out of the uh, catacombs. And then, yeah, like a uh, death fire or death attack on fire, two of them. Uh, GS tortures, whatever the hell that means. But these are all 1554. So it's the only way to get them all to stack nicely in a chest, especially with this sheer amount, is file cabinets from XD Utilities. Works out pretty good. Uh, went ahead and got some farms set up over here. Well, let's see. Actually, I've got. Bunk. Go ahead and pull that out. Uh, these are all Ender Lilies. When they mature enough, you get Ender Pearl out of them. Which I've had one mature so far. However, once they get past this stage here, they hurt to walk on. Uh, potatoes, carrots, strawberries, melons, turnips, pumpkins. And I got wheat and peanuts and then nether wart. Uh, this is gonna be my little kitchen area. I can got all the agriculture machines built, I just haven't bothered setting them up yet. Bunch of salt, some strawberries, ceramic plates, cups, bowls, uh, persimmons, which you can't do anything with I believe. Yeah, nothing. Uh, berries you can make ambrosia and fruit salads out of. So yay there. Kind of curious how to make this, but I haven't run into like pixie dust at all yet. Uh, honey jars from the nether, haven't run into celestial uh, shards. So, kind of have to wait a bit. Bunch of raw meat to cook up stuff, uh, sugar cane to make sugar out of, bones for cooking with one on. And crafting table. And I've actually color coded paths from the elevator to different areas so far. Like the green goes to the farms and then all over to the cows there, which is going to be cows, pigs, chickens over there. As far away from everything else as possible, so I don't have to listen to them. Uh, the white's going to go to the little kitchen area. Uh, red goes over to my gener power generation, which I haven't bothered finishing the wall up yet, so I can easily hop back here and show everybody. Redstone energy cells, and a ton of magmatic dynamos. Oh, huh. that's kind of cool. I didn't know you could actually kind of see through it. 
learn something new. But I've, the way I've got this little loop set up here is uh, orange is output, blue is input for power. So all these magmatics are feeding into the top, and if power is needed in the system, the cell will output into the system itself if the engines can't, or the uh, dynamos can't keep up. Uh, this one's got the same system going on, feeds into the sides, and it's got a loop on top. And that entire row along the bottom is magmatic dynamos. And then I've got oh my crucibles going here. Got five of them. I've got each one's got its own energy cell. Which need be I can run this line over here, change these all to orange, and I will have you know what, like 50 million more RF at my disposal. It's my lava tanks. And this is back to the back side of my uh, machinery, area, machinery area and these are just hardened energy cells because like this one's only powering four machines I don't really need the ability to output a whole lot of RF at once you know, same with this one this one this one's powering 10 I might actually have to upgrade this to a redstone because half these are uh, magmatic crucibles and they take a lot of power when they're running the smelters sawmills so, let's run around to the other side here and I'll Take a gander at it from the front. Alright, and these are half blocks, so you can't really do it that easily. But we have <clears throat> four pulverizers. Uh, each set across from each other pumps into the same strong box here. Uh, completely empty for now. But And you can actually see config. Or no, not config. Yeah, here we go. The only side that's actually doing anything right now is the side facing the chest, just to avoid any cross feeding or anything else like that. Uh, I got four furnaces, doing the same thing into those two chests. Two induction smelters in the top, two sawmills into the middle here. And then the reason this is set up is just for overall ease of use. So we got a magma crucible here, outputs to the top and the bottom. So we got a tank up here to hold extra, and then Got a fluid transfer on the bottom to hold that you know liquid that I'm using. And has no real outputs or anything yet. Just kinda chilling like that. But I got redstone, interpearls, uh pulverized coal, glowstone, which I was going to plunk that into there. And then lava. So which I'm gonna use this to make lava uh magmatic florbs, I think they're called. Fun full of lava. Just because I think it'd be fun to be able to throw a bucket of lava a pretty good distance away. And it's filling up this, and it's filling up the tank at the same time. And so, And that way, when this runs out, I have 16 extra buckets sitting up here ready to go. I might actually start doing a... Oh, what is it? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. Um, let's just start off with this. Portable tank is glass, run to copper, uh, holds eight buckets. So, and then harden that, holds 16, which you just put invar around the old one. You put hardened glass around the hardened tank, get reinforced, holds 32 buckets. And then you put endurium around the reinforced, and it'll hold a full 64 buckets. So, endurium's kind of a fun little thing, endurium blend is three polarized tin and a polarized shiny with a bucket of resonant ender which is what this guy's for pretty much but one of the main things we're going to do is <laughs> I uh let's get that going uh, let's get some silver some iron okay I went mining strip mining again so I have got a lot of materials to process. I go to ores here and I go, I pull out my ferrous ore. Go here to these smelters. Uh, like so. Yeah. And does it work in reverse still? It does. Okay, cool. So it doesn't matter. Oh, well, that's fiance texting. But goes through, dumps it straight into this chest here. I get three ferrous ingots and one shining ore per ore. And then we go over here, and I'm getting more cinnamar as we speak already. I got redstone, polarized iron coming in. 
And same here. Do I have anything really worth cooking? This I need to use a fortune pick on. Um, ruby ore. No. These are all the biomes of plenty ores here. Or gems. Peridot, topaz, tanzanite, which I already had. Malachite and ruby. And then salt. That's agriculture. But I think I actually may have all of them now. So I could actually get to the uh, the celestial dimension or whatever the hell it's called. And there it is. So I'll take care of that off camera. I just wanted to grab that while I was thinking about it. And let's see. What else do I have? Let's throw some rubber wood in, I guess, if I had a bunch. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot, actually. This Clearing this room here out took forever. <clears throat> and these are all regular stone bricks up there. And what I'm going to do is uh, set up a mine factory grinder. What is this again? Oh! Hi! That's where my stuff went when I died the last time. Which is funny, because, uh... Oh, uh, to the north there. It, about 500 blocks, actually, is where I died, and... Interesting. Okay. Huh. Oh, and this is just me goofing around with the, uh... This. I wanted to see what all I could put onto a pickaxe. So, let's go ahead and delete that while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, like there's my silk touch pick that I've been missing and everything else. Nice. Yeah, there's my diamond saw. What the hell is that doing up here? Well, I've got a, a lot of stuff to take care of now, so I will be back shortly. There we go, and welcome back. And actually, I ran into a slight problem with my uh, redstone sword. I ran out of room on bear. My, uh, bear oh, it's only two. I need two more. Dang it. Okay, well, let's go get more. And I only have one crafting bench that's over there. Just an idiot not moving it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And two more iron. Okay. And let's see. I need a speed beacon or something down here. There we go. And there's that. And we can go. Now, let's see, we need four wood in the corners, chest, and then four pistons. Here we go. Capacity mark one, wood upgrade for the barrels. And it goes all the way up to a mark seven, which is emerald, in stone, and obsidian, diamond, gold, iron, and so on and so forth. Uh, the main thing that I am not too fond of is to like make a mark two you actually have to make two mark ones. Let's see, I'll show you. Because it requires a mark one to upgrade it to a mark two or to make the mark two upgrade. And it has to be upgraded already to mark one before you can even do that. And what is it? Just right click on it? No. Shift right click, shift right click. There we go. A little darker now and there we go. And that doubled the capacity, 128 stacks max now versus 64. So, kind of handy. Keeps you from having to use multiple barrels. But I'm not too fond of the upgrade system. And, oh, got 6,000 in there. She's full and she's full. All right. And, oh, got these things kicking off now. Oh, go ahead and grab that too, I guess. And,. Tin, iron, tin, and iron, and I went ahead and fortuned out all those different uh, gem ores I had. So, and let's see, I'm going to need uh, just grab more ore and toss in here. It's not an ideal system; it's not fully automated by any means, or but. It does a job, and it's actually relatively lag-free. It just requires a little bit of user interaction, is all. And actually, 
I have those induction smelters already set up, so and let's grab three stacks. I probably should grab two because I only do two at once anyway. Damn. All right, let's grab some iron now, and let's get you guys cooking. There you go. And let's see. Yep, does three at a time. Two iron, one invar. And I've cut a bunch more ferrous in here already, too. So nice. Give me the shinies. Alright. Let's get these put away. And I'm going to probably cut until I'm done processing everything. It's going to be a little bit still. Got a lot of coal to go through. Yep, I'll be back in just a little bit.